another of my YouTube videos. For today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my Amazon favorites, my Amazon must-haves when it comes to my YouTube equipment. Everything that I own for my filming setup, it is from Amazon, except my makeup table and my shelf in the back. Those two things are from Ikea. But everything else is from Amazon, my lighting, my vlogging camera, my filming camera, my microphone, everything. This video is perfect for those who want to upgrade their equipment for YouTube or who want to start a new YouTube channel. And for those who are new to my channel, my name is Yvette Santos and make sure to subscribe for new makeup tutorials, how-tos, weekly vlogs, and business tips. With that being said, let's get right into it. <laughs> Real quick before we jump into this video, just wanted to put something out there because it is bothering me right now. I feel like my shoulders are looking super huge. I'm like looking at myself filming right now and I feel like I look like the Hulk. And I feel like I don't normally look like this, but it is because I'm wearing a waist trainer right now, which is squeezing the living hell out of me. And it is pushing everything up. So just in case you guys are wondering the same thing, that is why. So let's get right into this video. Everything I'll be mentioning in this video will be linked directly down below. I do have an Amazon account where I do share my favorites and my must haves. And I do have a category on my YouTube equipment. So everything I mentioned is going to be right there. So my first Amazon favorite is this 10 feet wide backdrop stand. And it really comes in handy for me because I create the illusion, you know, on YouTube when I film that I'm filming somewhere cozy in my bedroom or in a beauty room or something, but in reality, I'm actually filming in my unfinished basement. So what you guys see is this, and in reality, where I'm filming looks like this. I actually have this 10 feet wide um, backdrop right behind the shelf, right behind me, to create an illusion of a wall. I do have it um, with some really blackout white curtains, very, very thick, to create the illusion that it is a wall because obviously if I didn't have anything back there, you can just see right through the shelf because the shelf is, you know, it doesn't have like a wall of its own. If you're filming your YouTube videos, your makeup tutorials, your Instagram videos in your bedroom or somewhere that already looks presentable and cozy and cute or however you wanna want it to look, then that's perfectly fine. You might not need this, but I did need it because I do have a lot of equipment that I don't wanna continue bringing up to my bedroom, removing it and putting back where it goes. I have a complete setup here down in my basement that doesn't move and it just stays here. And for me, it comes in handy to have just that illusion of the wall in the back. Also, if I just ever wanted to switch it up and remove the shelf behind me, I could and I could just remove, like for example, the color of the curtain and make it into a paper, um, um, wallpaper or I can make it into a cloth wallpaper where it is different colors so it does come in handy depending on the look you want for your backdrop I do like to keep my filming area super bright and clean and white and that is why I have a very like minimal background where everything's just white and bright and I'm pretty much the center you know of attention not too much commotion going on in the back that's just personally my aesthetic and what I like I do have two different options for backdrops white backdrops that you can use in the back the first one you can get an Amazon basics blackout curtain which I have listed the link down below or you can use the newer nine feet white backdrop I own both of them and they both work perfectly fine it just depends on what you personally like right now I do have the Amazon basics blackout white curtains in the back of me next Amazon favorites for YouTube equipment that I own are these LED lights that are right behind me I love these lights because I just feel like it gives my background just so much more of a pop of a bling 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 you know I don't need them but I just feel like I'm happy with it because it makes it look super cute it's not just a plain shelf behind me I try to you know just see where I can add these lights because I did own it before I changed my background again and I'm going to show you guys a video clip of when I used it previously and how I used it I did use it with just a white background which were you know my Amazon basic curtains with my 10 feet backdrop and then I just put the lights and I do have the option with these lights to either make the lights stay still or make them blink which I really like now the exact same ones that I have are out of stock, but I do 
um, have another option that is very close to mine exactly because I have purchased the same ones prior and they literally look and work the same exact way. So I have added that to my Amazon YouTube equipment favorites down below so you guys can go check it out as well. Next we have this Amazon Basics camera mount tripod which is what I have my camera on right now. It does say it is lightweight but my camera is heavy. It is very heavy and it is on it and it is perfectly fine. I have been using the same exact tripod for years now and it has come in handy very well. I take it literally like everywhere if I'm going to take a picture of myself, if I'm going to be filming a video or whatever, like I literally take it everywhere with me. I do have a different one for vlogging which I will speak about it in a second but when it comes to filming this is the one that I use and what I like about it is that you could change the height of it so it has like many different heights that you could change it into so I think that a tripod you know unless that you have a specific place where you want to put your camera on top that's not a tripod then a tripod is very important to have so that you can have your camera on something next tripod is my flexible tripod and I use this tripod for vlogging and I actually just purchased this I want to say last year sometime and honestly I think I'm so late in purchasing a, you know, like a vlogging tripod or a tripod that, you know, you could take with you everywhere because once you have it, you see how much better it is when it comes to taking your camera everywhere and vlogging and recording because at, uh, at first I was literally doing like this with the camera and it's not the same as having a tripod. I mean, obviously. What I like about this tripod is that it's super flexible so I can adjust it literally to be in any shape or form that I want depending on what exactly I'm vlogging or filming it's very heavy duty and I place my vlogging camera on top of it I don't place my you know filming camera because I do have two cameras that I'm going to speak about which are my filming camera and my vlogging camera so obviously my little mini tripod flexible tripod I only put my vlogging camera and every time that you guys see any of my vlogs just know that I'm using that tripod now let's get right into the lighting the good stuff so um, as you guys know because I, I've said it, um, I do film in my basement. And since I film in my basement, I need a lot of lighting. Literally, a lot of lighting because it is so dark here. I need to adjust my camera to a great, you know, lighting. And I need to also adjust my um, lights to to just be everywhere, to be hitting the back, to be hitting me, to be hitting the camera, to be hitting the sides, just because it is so dark here that if it wasn't for the lights that I have, it's like you wouldn't be able to see anything. So I have tried a lot of different lightings throughout the years that I have been doing YouTube and I have been filming on Instagram. I have came across some great lighting and I have came across some bad lighting as well so just to give you guys a little backstory when I first started filming here in my basement when I decided to you know bring everything down here and just keep it stationed here I used to use 11 different lighting I have now upgraded my lighting about almost two years ago and now instead of using 11 different you know ring lights and soft boxes and all of this different kind of lighting I only use four so my first lighting that I ever purchased and that I consistently use, but I don't use it here for my filming area. I use it, for example, like if I'm going to be filming something in my bedroom and I just want that extra little bit of light, even though I have great lighting in my room due to my vanity, um, I'll take that ring light up. With the lighting I have right now, which is four different kinds of lighting, I'm perfectly fine, but the ring light, um, I just feel like it, it was a very great investment and I do use it a lot, especially if I'm gonna travel. This is the newer 18 inch LED ring light. And I really do love this ring light because I feel like it gives me so much, you know, light. And um, I just feel like if you're filming in a decent area that's not, for example, this dark as, for example, my unfinished basement, if it is somewhere like your bedroom or your living room or somewhere that there's okay lighting or even a window you should be perfectly fine with the ring light I am not using it right now I don't have it in this you know filming setup but I do use it and I do recommend it next let's talk about my photography soft box lightings so if you guys are not familiar with what a soft box lighting is then this is what it is right here and um, what I love about this light is that 
with the ring light, for example, or with many other different lightings, you know, the light might be so bright that sometimes you can't even look at the camera because of how bright it is. Sometimes it can hurt your eyes. Well, not really hurt your eyes, but just feel uncomfortable. So the soft boxes with, you know, the soft box it has on top of the actual light bulb, it like protects it so that it doesn't you know, the light isn't so harsh and it is much more softer. Now, I do own two of those and those are the two that I have right back here, which you guys can't really see because I keep it away from, you know, my little square that you guys could see. But those are really great lightings. It comes in a pair of two, which you guys get two and that is awesome. I ended up buying six of those and that actually, you know, was included in my 11 different lightings that I had at one point. Okay, now for my ultimate favorite lighting from Amazon that I own and that I really think it is a must have and it's a great investment. It's a bit pricey, but ever since I have changed to these lightings, I have needed nothing else. This is the reason why I, you know, I upgraded my lighting and I didn't need 11 other lightings. It's because these two lightings do the job. So this is the newer three pack dimmable lights. And I am using two out of the three lights. I do have the third one somewhere else because I honestly don't need that much lighting. I'm perfectly fine with what I have right now. And those two lightings, I have it right here and right here. It is a great size it is a square light it does not hurt my eyes it does not feel uncomfortable and I can adjust it in the back to be super white or yellow or in the middle I can adjust it depending on how I want the look besides the fact that I feel like these lights are amazing and give me all the light I possibly need you can do one out of two things with these lights and it's either you can charge it and you know not have a plug and you can just have it walk around and turn on or you can actually plug it into an extension and you know like with a regular cable so it does come with a cable i personally use the cable and i have a huge extension where i plug it in i like it i like it like that because i don't know how long i'm going to be filming and i have a huge extension it fits perfectly fine in there and um i don't have to worry about it dying out after a certain time, if you were to like charge a battery and place it there and all of that, yes, it's much more convenient because you could travel with it without having to plug it in. But then there's the fear of it dying. And I have heard, you know, um, other reviews on like, for example, not these in specific, but just other ones that are very much like this, where you charge it and then you can use it. And then I've heard people be like, oh yeah, and the battery life is amazing. It lasts an hour. An hour to me is not enough. I need much more than an hour because sometimes my YouTube videos when I'm filming them takes a little over an hour and I just can't have that, oh my God, it died, I need to go charge it. Like I really hate that, so that's why I personally plug it in. But you do have the option of just charging the battery and you know, not having to plug it in or plugging it in. These lights are also very convenient when traveling because they are pretty small and you know, there's different sizes that you can adjust it to and it can get really, really skinny. And it's not like a huge ring light circle where you know, the ring light can take up a lot of space. This is just a small square and um, it makes it so much more easier to travel with it. Next, let's talk about my cameras. So I get these questions all the time, as especially on Instagram. If you guys are not following me on Instagram, then make sure to follow me at Yvette Santos. On my Instagram, you guys have the ability to be able to keep up with a lot of my content in regards to makeup looks, fashion, um, makeup tutorials, fitness content, and all of that good stuff. So if you guys aren't following, make sure to follow me at Yvette Santos. So a very popular question that I receive a lot on Instagram and even on YouTube is, what is that? pink camera that you use. What's the name of that little pink camera? What's the name of that little pink camera? Like I get that all the time. So first of all, the reason why it's pink is because it has a case on it. So this is how the camera looks like. And this is the Canon G7X Mark II. I do have a comparison video on this camera comparing the Sony A5100 and the Sony, and the Sony, the Sony A5100 and the Canon G7X Mark II. So I do have a comparison on that if you guys are interested in watching it, I'll link it down below as well. But I did buy this camera, the Canon G7X Mark II back in 2018 and I've been using it ever since then. I know that there has been like a newer model that came out and I think it's the Mark III, but based on reviews that I have heard, 
I've heard that the Mark II is way better than the Mark III. I don't know. I've heard about three different reviews on YouTube saying that. So, honestly, my camera works fine. I love it. And it's a great camera, especially if you're moving quickly. And, um... It takes like a wide angle, so it's perfect for vlogging. And it just makes everything look so smooth, so bright, so nice, and it's easy to understand. For all of my weekly vlogs, this is what I film with. I film with my Canon G7X Mark II camera. I love this camera because um, I can be literally like running and it'll take everything. I think it is a super small, cute camera. And the fact that it's small is like the best thing about it because I can travel with it, I can put it in my purse. And when you shut the camera off, you know, the lens goes back inside, which is nice because the camera lens is not exposed. And I do have a case for it. So this case is my little pink case, which I got Amazon and this is the case right here. I'm gonna link it down below as well So you guys can go check that out. I like it because it protects the camera. It's pink So it's cute and um, it makes it look super girly I was using the Canon G7X Mark II camera to film my YouTube videos for some time. So for a while like that was the camera I was using and I like it like even to film my YouTube videos. I love it I'm not filming with that camera right now. I will show you guys somewhere here a clip of me filming with that camera, one of my tutorials, one of my YouTube videos, so you guys can see how it looks. But to be honest, it's a great camera for vlogging and if you want to film your, you know, makeup looks, your, I don't know, your YouTube videos or whatever it is that you want to do it works perfectly fine as well i love the battery life on the canon g7x mark ii camera and i also love that it doesn't heat up or overheat or whatever next we have this bad boy that i'm filming with right now this has been my latest um investment and i purchased this back in late 2019 i love this camera and i honestly can't say anything bad about it so this is the canon eos 80d camera it is a very very famous camera because a lot of influencers and youtubers use it and i am using the sigma 1.4 35 millimeter lens so this is a very pricey expensive camera not the most expensive out there but it definitely is expensive like i remember dropping a good amount of money on the camera body itself and on the lens so i did get the camera by itself and then i got the sigma lens separately so if you wanted to get this camera you know you could get it with the body that it comes with which is like a specific Canon package. I didn't want that lens that it came with. I wanted a different lens. I wanted these lens right here, which are the Sigma 1.4 lens. I love everything because I just feel like it's so high quality and it really does a great job blurring out the background. It is super quick in grabbing each product, you know, since I do a lot of, you know, these tutorials, these makeup looks and all of that, it's very important for when I put up a product, it really focuses on it super quickly. So this camera is amazing and I absolutely love it and I love the lens and I just love the purchase that I have made with this camera and lens. Now this camera, I do want to tell you guys that it is a camera that must be stationed somewhere just because it is so heavy. There's no way that you can possibly go to brunch and take this damn camera with you because it's like so big and bulky um i mean unless you do photography and all that other stuff but if you're just you know doing youtube at home or any of that like this camera is just too big and it's really heavy i keep this camera right here it does not leave my youtube filming setup it is just for youtube and just for my instagram you know video content next is this rode lightweight microphone and sometimes i do forget to put the microphone on the camera but this microphone really helps when it comes to echoing and when it comes to you know um just making you sound much more professional and better so i actually place this microphone when it comes to my EOS Canon 80D. So I don't use a microphone when it comes to my Canon G7X Mark II, my vlogging camera. I only use it when it comes to this camera that I'm filming with right now. Last but not least, this is just, you know, optional just a little something something that i have here that i always use every time i film especially when i'm filming you know my makeup videos that don't require me to talk and this is my anchor bluetooth speaker i love this speaker i have been using the same exact speaker for about 
two and a half years, I want to say three years going on, three years. I got it as a gift and I loved it so much that I bought another one and this speaker stays right here. It is so small, I can take it anywhere and um, it connects to your phone and especially when I'm doing my little makeup looks, I just like to have a nice speaker here. Now obviously you can get any speaker of your choice but I just personally love Anchor. I think that the brand is amazing and very high quality and this speaker, this exact same speaker has been with me for three years and it is in top condition okay guys well this is it for this youtube video i hope you guys enjoyed my amazon favorites sharing with you guys my youtube equipment my amazon must-haves remember guys all the links of everything i mentioned will be down below thank you guys so much for watching thank you guys so much for tuning in if you guys aren't subscribed yet what are you waiting for subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next youtube video bye guys